filed Senate Bill 452 yesterday regarding the governor's ban on masks and vaccine mandates. The people already fighting this. By the year 2028, more than 160,000 drivers could be needed after years of truck drivers leaving the industry. How one Marion County program could help this. And a former Alachua County School Board member is taking her case to federal court. Why she says Governor Ron DeSantis violated her constitutional rights. Those stories and more are coming up on this Thursday, October 14th. TV20's Morning Edition starts now. This is WCJP TV20's Morning Edition. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us on this Thursday. I'm Lisa Sicasio. And comfortable weather starting out, so how much will we warm up today, Mike? Uh, pretty good amount, actually. As we've discovered in the past few days, you can have some very comfortable mornings, but some very warm afternoons. Checking out what's going on right now, looking at what's going on on the interstate. We're looking up I-75, a mostly clear sky overhead, lots of stars out first thing this morning. If you like to stargaze, good morning for that across the region. Visibility coming down.